determine whether the functions f of x is equal to x cubed minus 1 and g of x is equal to x plus 1 to the 1 third power are inverse functions. <coughs> Now, to be inverse functions, they have to satisfy two things, right? Inverse functions have to satisfy that if you compose one in the other, so if you take g of f of x is equal to x, it has to be equal to x, and if you do the other composition, f of g of x, that also has to be equal to x. So these are the two um, conditions that have to be satisfied in order for to determine whether these two functions are inverses. So let's do that. Let's do the first one. g of f of x. Now if you recall um, function notation, g of f of x is g of x when x is replaced with f of x. So g of x is x plus 1 to the 1 third, but wherever we see an x in the function, we want to replace with an f of x. So g of f of x is going to be f of x plus 1 to the 1 third. Let me clean that up a little bit. f of x plus 1 to the 1 third. But we know exactly what f of x is, right? It's this. So what we do is we're going to replace it in that parentheses. So f of x is x cubed minus 1 plus 1 to the 1 third. So now simplifying we can get rid of these parentheses, right? So this just becomes x cubed minus 1 plus 1 to the 1 third. This minus 1 and plus 1 is just going to give us 0. So we're left with x cubed to the 1 third. And x cubed to the 1 third, you um, multiply the powers together. And 3 times a third is just equal to 1. So you get x to the 1 power, which, which is just x. So great, we've satisfied the first condition, right? So g of f of x is equal to x. Now we want to make we want to see if f of g of x is going to give us x as well. So for part two, we want to evaluate f of g of x. And f of g of x is f of x when x is replaced by the function g. So here, what we want to do is in the f of x, whenever we see an x, we want to replace it with this function g of x here. So f of x, let me um, rewrite these here on the side, is x cubed minus 1, and g of x is x plus 1 to the 1 third. So we want f of g of x, so we want g of x cubed minus 1, right? But we know exactly what g of x is, it's x plus 1 to the 1 third, so we can replace that. So we get x plus 1 to the 1 third, and we're going to cube that whole thing, and then subtract 1. All right, so now evaluating um, the exponents first, we multiply 3 times 1 third, and what we get here is x plus 1 to the 1 power, right, minus 1. And then finally, this just becomes it's x plus 1 minus 1, which just gives us x. So f of g of x is equal to x, and g of f of x is equal to x. So f of x and g of x are both our inverse functions, our inverses of each other.